I normally don't take on commission work for 3D printed aircraft, but when DBT Aero reached out to me in need of an RC testbed for their full scale design, it was hard to pass up the opportunity to work with them on such a challenging and interesting project. My initial reaction to seeing images of their design was, wow, that is not your typical looking aircraft. I really want to see that thing fly. But as I've continued to work with them on this project, I've come to learn that DBT Aero's mission is about something way more important than just building an intriguing looking aircraft. This is Synergy Prime. Welcome to the future of aviation. DBT Aero is currently developing and performing ground testing on a full-scale prototype of their patented double boxtail aircraft, the Synergy Prime. It is their first in a family of ultra-efficient airframes that bring affordability, sustainability, high speed, and unique payload capabilities to personal, business, cargo, military, and recreational aviation. In conjunction with the final rollout of the full-scale five-seater Synergy Prime, we are using 3D printing techniques to develop an unmanned 1.6 scale version of the aircraft. Let's dive right into some of the unique design features of this scaled down RC model. With the canopy removed, it is immediately evident how much room there is inside the fuselage for various payload. I've designed the outer shell of the fuselage to print using a lightweight foaming material, but these trays in the inside are printed in a rigid material like standard PLA, PETG, or ABS, to give the airframe a rigid skeleton. These rigid trays are where important electronics like the retracts and nose gear steering servo are mounted. This model is also equipped with split flaps, and the flap servos are mounted on the rigid tray in the rear of the fuselage. For rigidity in the main wings, I've designed them to house several carbon fiber tubes that run through the length of the wings and through the fuselage. These also help with easy alignment during assembly. One of the most unique design features on this model are the direct drive control surfaces. The elevons on the Synergy are fully articulating, so they house a very unique servo thanks to the sponsorship from Hi-Tech RCD that are designed for thin wings, and they directly drive the elevons without the need for push rods, leaving the servo completely hidden inside the aircraft and maintaining a streamlined airframe. The servo arm screws directly to the vertical stabilizer, and there's a carbon fiber tube permanently glued inside the elevon on its hinge line. This tube slides into the mating winglet at the tip of the wing, and the carbon fiber tube interacts with a steel ball bearing housed inside the winglet to ensure smooth rotation. The elevon is then held in place with a shoulder bolt. The rudders are driven using the same servo with a similar mechanical setup. Finally, this Synergy model is designed to break down into several individual pieces for easy transportation, with the main wings, winglets, tail booms, and elevons all removable and able to be packed flat. We designed the main landing gear to stay on the fuselage component, rather than the main wings, to make assembly and disassembly much faster. 
They all in CAD time to scale the full scale design down to a 1 6 scale 3D printable model. It was around 100 hours. But with the CAD completed, I was so excited to start 3D printing parts and to assemble the prototype design. I'm a big proponent of multi-material designs, so I've used several different materials in this build. As mentioned earlier, the outer shell of the design is mostly printed using a lightweight foaming PLA to keep the weight down, and key components are printed from a more rigid standard PLA for added strength. PETG was used in areas where heat resistance is needed, like the motor mount and the tire hubs, and the tires themselves were printed from a foaming, flexible TPU to provide rubber-like performance. The assembly of the design is pretty straightforward, with all of the components designed to key together and glued together with a quick-setting medium-bodied superglue provided by Zap Adhesives. The initial canopy design was held in place using only high-strength rare earth magnets, which, while leaving a nice clean look, proved to be not nearly strong enough to keep the canopy in place during flight. But we'll show you a little more on that in a moment. With all of the parts glued together, sanded, and painted, I tested the full assembly process at home before heading to the flying field for the maiden flight. I conducted the maiden flight during a yearly fly-in at my local RC club, and one thing was evident when seeing this synergy on the flight line. Its unique aesthetic definitely helps it stand out from the crowd. But having a unique aesthetic isn't the main goal with this design. It's meant to be an efficient, stable, and speedy flyer. So let's see how she handles in the air.
I'm pleased to say this Synergy is a joy to fly. It's incredibly smooth on the controls with no bad tendencies, and it is quite fast. I cruised around at half throttle on this maiden flight and the chase drone clocked in at 60 miles per hour. But maiden flights are always an amazing opportunity to learn something about a novel design. In this case, I almost learned a lesson the hard way when the canopy began coming loose after a high speed flyby, getting jammed in a vertical position and acting like a huge air brake. But this really is a testament to the efficiency of this design. Even with the dislodged canopy creating what must have been a huge amount of drag, I was able to get the model home safely. And since 3D printed aircraft can be repaired, modified, or duplicated quite easily compared to more traditional building techniques, I reworked the CAD for the canopy to include a physical spring-loaded latch, and I had a new one printed, assembled, and painted by the next weekend for additional flight testing. Caught behind the Asian blinds Had to reach for the city lines This ain't where I belong In the intro to this video, I mentioned that DBT Aero's mission is about something way more important than just building an intriguing looking aircraft. Their mission is to reshape the way we think about aircraft design with a focus on improving humanity. That's what sold me on working with them on this project. Seeing the amount of time, passion, blood, sweat, and tears they've put into the development of this aircraft is inspiring. And this portion of their project is just the first step in ongoing development to turn this aircraft into an autonomous unmanned aerial vehicle as a testbed for future commercial applications. At the end of this project, I asked myself, if my relationship with DBT Aero was to end here, would I be proud of what we built? And my answer is absolutely yes. If building this scaled down testbed of their design has helped in any way to reach their goal of a more sustainable future in aviation, then I'm leaving this project feeling extremely rewarded, knowing it's about something much bigger than me. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, I encourage you to never stop exploring, never stop questioning, and never stop playing.